Hello lovelies, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do an olive green eye tutorial for you. We're going to be using the Buxom customizable palette and this is just a palette that looks like this and you pretty much choose what colors you want to go in it and there's a little cartridge like this that you put the colors in that you want that goes inside of the palette like such and slides right on in there. The color that we're going to be using out of this palette is the olive green one. And it's called from, no, it's called Dusk Till Dawn. And we're probably going to also, I'm thinking I want to also use a little bit of this cool shade. It's called Mink Magnet. And we're going to be using a couple neutral colors from another palette just because this one doesn't have every color I want to have in it. So we're just going to be dipping into a different one. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to be taking this cream colored shadow right here and I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush this is the Farrah 35 F it's just a fluffy brush I'm going to be taking that and just taking it above my crease to underneath my brows and I already have my base done as usual like I've mentioned before if you guys want to see what I do how I do it just ask and I'll do it I just don't think there's sense in doing it every single time um, so if you wanted to see what I do, then I'll make a video of just that. But I have on the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation uh, Benefit Goof Proof Brows. And I don't have any contour or blush on yet, actually. I do have uh, Age Rewind Concealer. It's hard to remember what things are called. <laughs> and so I'm going to dip in to this Daisy Marquez palette from BH Cosmetics you guys have probably seen before. It looks just like this inside. I'm going to be taking this Dolce color, which is just a, like a caramelly kind of shade, like the name implies. And I'm going to be taking a BH number no. 5 blending brush. This one's just a tapered blending brush. I'm going to go in with that in the crease. Just to have a color laid down as a transition shade that I would like. And we're just going to blend that just like that. You can do windshield wiper motions and then go in with little circular buffing motions just like that. And now I'm going to be taking, because that uh, palette doesn't have a dark brown shade that I would like to have, I'm going to go in with this cocoa color which is just a rich brown from the Daisy Marquez palette. And I'm going to take what I've showed you guys before because this palette does have fallout. I'm just going to be using a little triangle of tissue like that. And we're going to use that just in case we have some fallout from that cocoa, which I'm pretty positive we will because if you look in the palette after I dip into it, just barely, it, you know, creates a lot of kick up in the palette. So it's a pretty good indication it's going to fall all over your face. So I'm just going to lay the triangle right there and I want to pretty much just place this in the outer corner. I'm just going to place it where I would like to have it and then I'm going to go back and blend in a moment after I do my other eye. And blend all the way down and back up. You guys, I am so sniffly today because, I don't know, something outside has got my allergies really acting up. And I'm going to go ahead and take this under my eye also because I want a good idea of how smoky I'm making this. Because I don't necessarily want it to be a heavy smoke dye, but I do want it to have like a sultry-esque kind of appearance to it go back in with a blender just the same one we used before start softening those edges out just like this just soften that brown up I really like this brown it's just a rich cool brown it's not warm at all which I need for this look because the olive color I'm using has some cool undertones to it. 
Okay. That's looking pretty smoky right now. Now I'm going to go in. I swear there is so much kick up in that palette. Now I'm going to go in with that Buxom shade. This is going to be relatively pretty simple. Now these shadows claim to be, um, it doesn't say on here, but whenever you purchase the little individual shadows, they claim to be primer infused so that you don't need primer, which I've had pretty good luck with these and I would agree that I don't really need a primer, but if you go ahead and use one, it doesn't really make a difference. So I'm going to take that shade, that green, Ooh. I'm going to start laying that with my finger just because that's my favorite way to apply such a shimmer. And I'm going to start laying it in the inner first, a little past halfway. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Just like that. And I'm bringing it a tid bit up above the crease. Not crazily, you can see it. But even that had fallout to it with using my finger, so. Which is not a big deal. We're just going to take a fluffy and do like that with it. And knock it off the face. Okay, so right now we have some pretty jaggedy unblended edges because we haven't blended yet. So we're going to blend that color. And now I just want to take a smidge of this cool tone brown shade. It's like a mid-brown color. And run that at the crease. Just so there is dimension of color. You see that? Between all of those. It's not just two colors laid down. And I'm going to go back in with that cocoa color. And build that outside back up. So it's not as sheen as it looks right this second. Alright, now I'm going to take, but first I'm going to take that same mid-tone brown on a flat shader. This is just the BH number 8. And I'm going to go right to the edge of where I already laid that color and blend beneath it. It's really going to enhance. And right now you're like, whoa, you're looking a little dead. That's okay. Because <laughs> my face is so washed out from not having any other color on it. By the time we're finished, everything will go together, so it's okay. Don't panic. Alright, we're going to go back in with that cocoa color, like I mentioned before. And we're going to pat, take that flat shader brush, and I'm really going to tap it off. There is so much coming off of that. And I'm just going to reinforce that brown, because blending will pick up some of your uh, depth of color. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and show you a little closer. I'm going to fuse the edges together just like that, just a little bit, where it doesn't look like you laid one color down and then another. So it's going to have some, like, a little gradient to it. Just like that. Just barely lay the brush down and go back and forth. And now for a little bit of light, just to lighten up the look a little bit, I'm going to take that color, I think I said was mink something, that pinkish undertoned color. And I'm going to put that on the inner, probably just the inner third of under my eye. Just like that. And I'm going to take a small amount of it and pat it right in the center. Just like that. And now we're going to go back in with a blending brush and just make sure we have those edges softened at the top. And I want to add just a touch more of that brow bone cream color up right at the top. Just like that. And we're going to go back and now blend. Just to make sure our edges are soft and diffused. I said I wasn't going to make this super smoky, but apparently I have made it super smoky. So it's going to be super smoky today. The next thing I'm going to do 
is take an eyeliner. <clears throat> this is just the NYX. It's that long one. Glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on. Extreme Shine Eyeliner. What was the color? I think it's just brown. Brown Perfection. I'm going to take that and water. I say it every time I say I'm going to water my eye. I'm going to line my water line. I mean, really. And this is just a brown eyeliner, any brown, or if you prefer black or none, that works too. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any fallout left on my face. Because I do have a bit from where I didn't use my little tissue trick. And I have the It Cosmetics Blur Powder. It's like blurring pores or something like that powder. Um, I like it pretty good. I've used it probably off and on for the last two years. And I, I, I would say it works really well. I don't, I don't use powder every day just because I don't always want to. I live in a hot area, so it gets really hot and I get really oily. So sometimes I have to because I'm just oily prone. I'm going to take my Luxie 660. This is a precision foundation brush, and I actually use it to contour, to contour with. I can't talk today. So I'm going to take this Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette, and I'm going to take... Now this looks a little intense. I mean, it kind of is. But I'm going to take this dark shade and go in really lightly, and it's called Shadow. Appropriate. I'm just going to tap brush into that just a little bit and you can see just barely tapping really has some pigment I'm gonna take that whatever I just laid down I'm gonna try to carry that a little ways so it's not just really dark right there and see how that diffused really well same thing on this side looks harsh we're just going to take the time to really blend it out and carry some of that product up here just like that and take a little bit under here just like that and I'm going to take the tiniest amount I'm going to knock some of it off on the back of my hand so it's not crazy intense and do my forehead right here because I think where my lights are positioned is really extending the appearance of my forehead so we're going to try to shorten that guy okay and now I'm going to take my teensy brush that I like to use for my nose contour which is the Luxie 141 mini round brush and it just looks like this and I love Luxie brushes this is the only one I've ever been disappointed in because it's actually loosening at the ferrule I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's it's significantly loosening loosening and I hate that and it shouldn't be from me washing it because I know how to correctly wash and dry my brushes so it shouldn't be an issue of that maybe this is just a faulty brush of theirs because like I said mine have not ever out of all of them that I have and I have probably close to a dozen of their brushes none of them have done that before so it might just be a bad brush I'm just contouring my nose a little bit and I think for blush today I'm going to go in with my BH number no. 4 brush. This is what I just like to use for blush. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton uh, Tropic Hues. Just looks like this. It's very pretty. I like how pink blushes look with all of the eyes. I think it goes really well. I think it's really flattering. And I'm just going to take that right here and bring it up towards my temples little circular motions just like that 
and this does have some iridescence to it so you can see it's a little like you see how it's catching the light which I don't mind I'm okay with that I don't want that all the time but when I do want that this tends to be the blush that I gravitate towards I really like it and I'm gonna go a little heavy with the blush today some days I like to go a little heavier than others and then I'm going to take I have been looking for a new mascara still haven't found a new one but I was in the store this morning and was like you know what I haven't tried this mascara that used to be my holy grail mascara and I haven't tried it again in years to see if it's as good as it was so it's the CoverGirl Lash Blast volume in very black this used to be literally everything <laughs> I mean that was a long time ago that was like probably nine years ago but I mean I remember it was my favorite I would choose it over anything else ever and I really like the little wand on it so we're gonna try that and see if she's still as good as we remember her being and I just got some all over my hand from that lid but we're gonna take our eyelash curler I was looking for it and curled my lashes. I always curl my lashes. Oh my gosh. Allergies really are so irritating. I don't know if you guys do any of y'all have allergies because they drive me crazy. Like now that I've gotten older the thing that happens now is I get really itchy on the bottom of my nose and my eyes get really itchy and that drives me crazy because if you want to wear makeup you have to deal with having really itchy eyes and a really itchy nose alright we're just gonna go in with this And it seems like it's about the same as I remember, actually. Now, I haven't used it in a long time, but I really loved it. And people used to ask me what kind of mascara I was wearing all the time when I would wear this. People would stop me and ask me. It's not really clumping or anything. I might start using this again because <laughs> I really like how that looks I'm gonna go back in for another coat and don't worry I definitely have q-tips on standby for when I touch my eyelid with my mascara wand maybe one day I'll, I won't do that I don't know or maybe I'll always do it. <laughs> now this isn't like as good as say like some high end mascaras I have. But it's definitely a winner for the price. I can say that. I really may start using this all the time again until I find another thing. Isn't that how you get? You try something and you use it constantly and then you forget how something was just like I did with this. I'm gonna go in with another coat. Ow. I like being really excessive with my mascara. And I also like touching my eye with it apparently. I probably won't edit that out either. <laughs> I like being really real with you guys, so if I poke my eye out, I guess I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> Alright, and this is how that mascara looks 
Oh, she might be a, a little player that we got to bring back out. The CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Now I remember. Now I remember. Okay, I'm going to take, and to go along with my pink blush, I'm going to do a pink lip. But first I'm going to wipe off any lip balm I have on. I always prep my lips while I'm doing the other part of my makeup with lip balm. But first I have to clean up with mascara on my lids because you guys know that I do it. If your eyelids get like this too with the mascara, what is your trick to keeping them clean if you have one? Please let me know. Because it's just that my eyelid, my eyelashes are so long that they, they touch it every Every time, no matter what, even if I sit like this and wait on them to, to dry, it seems like it still does it. I'm going to take the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Frenchie. Now I'm going to line my lips. I think from the weather changing, my skin is like so dry right now. And see, I have oily, it's, well, it's combination oily, but there's sometimes that just, like, certain parts of my face get really dry. And, like, around my mouth is one of them. And, like, around my nose area. And that's happening right now. I think it's from where we're transitioning from, like, some days it's a little cool to where it's, like, blistering hot today. Ugh. I have a couple pinks over here with me. One is the BH Cosmetics Cream Luxe Lipstick in Tea Time, which I may use. And another is the Smashbox LA Lights in Pacific Coast Pout. I really like how that looks though. I think we're going to use her. What I like to do with this is just pat it on. Round down there, pat. And see how that's like whoa pink? We're gonna blot that off so it's not so shockingly pink. Oh my gosh, I'm so itchy, guys. My lips are so dry. We're gonna use Smashbox lip gloss in, I think this is pout also. I still haven't figured it out. Hmm. Actually, that's a little more washed out than I want. I think I'm going to go over it with that Tea Time color anyways. Yeah, I think that looks better, actually. I'm still going to blot it. And take that tea, the uh, Smashbox lip gloss. It's really just a translucent baby pink color. Okay. And I'm going to get another Q-tip and touch up real quick because I can see where some mascara is. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this or if you have this little customizable palette. Maybe you even have this olive green color. And let me know. Just comment whatever you want to comment and say hello if you want. And subscribe to my channel. I put out new uh, videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I post on Instagram daily. That's Amy Yevan Beauty, A M Y Y V A N B E A U T Y. And you can go over there and check out some of my looks and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!